with consistent threats of nuclear war from Russia, missile strikes in the Middle East, and the unprecedented rise of China's influence, many are fearing World War III is round the corner. Defense Minister Grant Schapp said, international relations has entered a new era, and said Brits should be prepared to defend out nation whenever the call comes in a chilling speak. Former Defense Secretary Ben Wallace even said the UK will be at war by 2030 in an interview last year. But instead of taking up arms, some may be wondering how they can escape two countries. Deemed to be safe from invasion, bombardment and the lasting impacts of war, the continent sits at the most southerly point of the planet making it one of the safest places to survive a nuclear war. There is an enormous geographic distance between Antarctica and countries with nuclear warheads. With more than 14 million square kilometers, there is plenty of room for people to take refuge. But some may find the icy and freezing climate unforgiving. This country has consistently topped the Global Peace Index, meaning it rarely engages in an international conflict. It has earned its reputation for being one of the most peaceful countries in the world, and is somewhat geographically remote compared to the rest of Europe. New Zealand ranks second in the Global Peace Index and has been often taken a neutral stance on conflicts. The country also has a mountainous terrain making it easier for citizens to be protected. This country is the most readily associated with political neutrality, even during World War II. It is well protected by its terrain, landlocked geography and various nuclear shelters. Greenland is the world's largest island and it belongs to Denmark. It is geographically remote and politically neutral. The island's current population of 56,000 people means it is unlikely to be targeted by any superpower. Indonesia has often taken a neutral stance on political issues, with the country's first president, Ahmed Sukarno, describing their foreign policy as free and active. They act independently within international affairs and say they are most concerned with world peace. Tuvalu is located in the Pacific Ocean, halfway between Hawaii and Australia. Only 11,000 people live on the island, meaning infrastructure is weak. It also has a limited number of natural resources, meaning it would make an undesirable target to any aggressors. Although Argentina has engaged in conflict, most notably during the Falklands War in 1982, the country is one of the most likely places to survive famine. The country has an abundance of crop, including wheat, which means if nuclear dust were to block the sun, Argentinians will already have crops in supply. In 1971, Bhutan declared itself neutral in regards to any conflict after joining the United Nations. It is also landlocked and surrounded by mountainous regions, making it easier to defend the country. The country's 4,000-mile-long coastline spans the distance between Moscow and Madrid. It is also home to a variety of different crops and natural resources, making survival easier. Its infrastructure and development is also considered the most advanced in South America. The island nation is 2,700 miles away from its closest country Australia. Along with a lack of clear military strategy and an army consisting of just 6,000 soldiers, Fiji ranks highly on the Global Peace Index. Much of the island is also made up of dense forests, minerals and fishing spots. South Africa is home to multiple sources of food, fertile land and fresh water, making survival easy. The country's modern infrastructure could also increase chances of survival as these resources are managed 